guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be a kind of haul video. I have a few clothes and some makeup products. Hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. But I'm just going to start off with kind of like makeup products. And I do have a lot of lip products because everyone has their favourites. Some people love lipstick, some people love eyeshadows, some people love foundations. I love lip products. I just, I, I love them so much. I have loads. So the first thing that I got is one of the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks in the shade 03. I absolutely love these lipsticks. This is my sixth one, I think. Um, they're just amazing. They last ages. Um, they smell amazing and last forever and is amazing. There's mattes and there's also cream ones. I think the red ones are matte and then the black ones are cream. Um, but I don't know. So that's just the colour. It's kind of like a... Um, it's, for me, it's the perfect everyday nude colour. It's just the perfect, my lips for that colour. Um, so yeah, it's just like a nudie brown. The second thing that I got is this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. It's, um, I was looking at the NYX stuff in Boots and I was going to buy some soft matte lip creams. Um, but I was like, I don't really like these, so why would I buy them? Because <laughs> I have three and I don't particularly like them. Um, they don't last that long, to be honest. Um, so I got this instead. It just called my name. It was like, Nicole, buy me. And it's just like, it looks like it's a... I wore it and it lasts so long. Right, it goes on and it's so creamy. It dries kind of like to a satin finish. Um, and it feels like Max matte lipsticks. Like, it's like... A matte finish but it feels really creamy on the lips I don't know but it's just a beautiful color I just thought it'd be perfect for autumn the next thing is also lips and it is another liquid lipstick kind of thing it's by sleek it's the matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream in the shade birthday suit this is what I have on my lips right now it's a really nice natural pink everyday color it goes on really nicely it's really easy to apply it's really nice and soft it's it's kiss proof not that I'm going to be kissing anybody. They dry so, so quickly. I only have one. I think I might go buy some more, but I don't know. Because my friend Lily had it. And it lasted so long on her. And it was amazing. So I was like, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so I bought it. So the last, well, this and then one more kind of lip product. This is the um, Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner in the shade Obsession. And it's another kind of autumnal colour. Um, it's like a red with brown undertones i don't know there it's just like a really nice berry red color um and i did wear this all over the lips once and it lasted really well and it was the most perfect amazing brownish reddish color and i loved it and i was obsessed so i'm going to be wearing this again soon because autumn is my favorite like season ever i love autumn um, that's why I'm wearing like an autumn-y kind of t-shirt today and I was thinking about maybe doing an autumn lookbook but I'm not 100% sure yet. If you guys want me to do like an autumn lookbook, because I have like my signature looks and outfits that I wear in autumn. Um, so like, yeah, I'm like, I have good fashion like all time, all year round. But in autumn, it's just on point every single day. Nivea Essential Care Lip Balm, it's just a normal lip balm um this is my favorite i've gone through like five of these um they're really cheap really moisturizing and i just love them so i just bought one of them um so this is the barry m nail paint in the shade vintage violet i saw this um and i was just like i need this in my life on on camera it's coming off more dark but it when i look at it i just think of grapes like the color of grapes i don't know um so yeah, I either buy Barry M or Essie nail polish, um, and Essie is a lot more expensive than Barry M, so yeah, I just bought this, and it's so pretty, I can't wait to wear it, it just looks gorgeous. The rest of the stuff is from Primark, apart from one thing which I will mention at the end. So this is <laughs> a choker, so I can be a real emo kid. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a simple choker, because everyone wears them, and I still thought I'd be cool wearing one. And I wanted to be like a proper emo kid. So I bought it and I was like, yay, because I finally found one. And I look so stupid. I got um I got it and I wore it and I put it on a picture on um Snapchat like, oh my god, I'm a real emo kid now. Or and then I posted another picture saying this really doesn't suit me. And then my friend he messaged me and he was like, 
uh, did you know that wearing a choker means that you're a prostitute? And then I was like, no, it doesn't, no. Um, and then he screenshot this thing and he sent me this, like, um, paragraph thing of, like, certain coloured chokers mean you're a certain type of prostitute and stuff, and it's just really confusing and weird. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to wear it anyway. It costs £1.50, I think, or £1.20. Um, I doubt I'm going to wear it, actually, though, anyways, because, um, it just... I, I look ridiculous with it on. I just look so stupid. And yeah, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I, have, I only have one here with me because my other one is in my school bag. But um, it's just a big hair grip. Since I got my hair cut short, I prefer to use one of these and just kind of like twist it and put it up rather than tying it up in a ponytail. Emo princess. I don't know. It's kind of like a really pretty pattern, but it's black. The next thing is this, it is the um, hair wrap from Primark um, and I got this because I used to use this every day from Soap and Glory um, and it was a lifesaver. Once I worked out how to use it, it was just amazing because my cousin gave it to me because she didn't like it and she didn't use it. So I used it and it was amazing and I just like was obsessed. But then I started dyeing my hair again and I didn't want to use it because it was white obviously and I don't want to get blue hair dye or pink hair dye or whatever colour my hair is on the white towel so I've been using a regular towel but I saw this in Primark and it was like £1.30 or something I can't remember yeah whoa because it's just a lot lighter and a lot easier and a just just a lot lot better and I prefer it to a big old towel on my head last three things are clothes um, this isn't from Primark, this is from H&M, I think. H&M. So, it's just like a black skater skirt. The only skirts I wear are skater skirts. I just love skater skirts. But it's got like a, um, it's like, yeah. Uh, skirt, it's really soft and it has a zip on the back. I don't know why, I just really like that. I think it looks really, like, elegant and sleek, I don't know. Um, so yeah. That's that. This is from Primark. Um... Some of, I don't wear the buttons this low down, by the way. <laughs> blue cropped um, polka dot shirt, and it has buttons, and it's really nice. I loved wearing this with my high waisted shorts. It just looked so good, and I loved it. And yeah. Then the last item that I got is this. It has the label on. Let's take that off. <laughs> this one is like I need this in my life. Um, Grey long sleeve jumper the tiniest little tassel neck and it just kind of is like so perfect and I love it and my mum was like oh you sure because it's gonna like clash with your hair but it doesn't look too bad and it's really soft and I think it's like just it looks so nice with white jeans um or black jeans but you know <laughs> um so yeah I just can't wait to wear this because I'm just in love with it so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe comment down below any video suggestions and also if you want me to do like a autumn lookbook then give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below um so yeah thank you for watching I will see you next week with another video bye